I'm Jess and welcome to Jess Science, Science for Everyone. Today's demonstration can get a little bit messy, so if you're trying it out at home, please, please, please make sure you do this outside. I'll try and do it nice and carefully here. So for this, you are going to need a cup or a bucket. Uh, I'm using an old yogurt container and you can attach it with a string like this. Now I've got lots of string here and to do that, I carefully used a thumbtack to poke a hole through it and then poked three holes, attached three pieces of equal size string, gathered it in the center and did another piece up top here. And what we're going to be doing is adding a little bit of water and spinning our cup like this. And we're gonna see if we can keep the water in the cup. Now I know what you're probably thinking and that's, well, there is still gonna be gravity happening when the cup's like this where the water is gonna fall out. But what we're hoping is that the centripetal force which is the force that exerts when it goes around in a circle, is gonna keep the water in that. And it works like roller coasters. If you've ever kind of been spun around in a roller coaster, you can kind of feel that force. And part of that is when I add the water here, there we go, we'll just add it a little bit. And when I start spinning it in a circle, that water and the cup here are gonna to wanna to keep spinning in a straight line, but it gets pushed in a circle. So the water gets pushed against the cup, even at the top. And as long as that push is stronger than the gravity pushing down on it, it's gonna keep it in the cup. You may have experienced this yourself. If you've had siblings or friends in a car and you've gone around a tight corner and you've been pushed against the side. So the trick is to make sure you do spin it quickly. You wanna make sure that force is stronger than gravity. All right, <laughs> trying this out now. So I've got my water in here, I've got my cup. Again, if you're outside, you can try it lots of different ways with way more water and less fear of making a mess. And we're gonna see if we can do it. You didn't think I was gonna do it inside, did you? All right, here we go. One, two, three, give it a spin. And the water is staying in the cup. Now the tricky bit is slowing it down again. Give it a spin. And the water is staying in the cup. Now the tricky bit is slowing it down again. <laughs> so there you have it. Give it a try outside. Try different amounts, different containers, and see what you can do. Make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye!